Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to build the rotary valve for the Shane Whiten gas engine. Um, the material for this component is brass. Units are inches, pounds, and seconds. Anti-drafting standard. Uh, there's a couple of ways to start this part. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple um, as best I can. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, an extrude uh, on the front plane make a circle point five five in diameter and we're going to extrude that we'll go backwards so I'm extruding it backwards to point one seven five inches thick and then I'm going to go ahead and sketch a 0.125 diameter circle on this surface or actually right back on the front plane make sure it's 0.125 and extrude it in that direction so backwards again to a total height of 0.31 So there's our, our base feature and the post, that's 0.31. Okay, um, and now we're going to create the cutout on the left-hand side. Actually, I'm going to do the post first, or the hole, there's actually a hole here, so let's do that. Let's do that first. So I'm going to sketch on this surface, or actually back on the front plane again, and I'm going to sketch that circle right about here. It's 190 thousandths away, plus or minus two thousandths. I'm going to make sure that the origin and the center of this circle are horizontal. And this one is 0.126 inches in diameter. So I'll switch that to three decimal places so that we know it's 126, not 125 for this for this hole. And it's cut straight into the part at a depth of 150 thousandths. So we've got the post that's 125 thousandths on the back. We have the hole that's in eccentric. It's off center. And now we can attempt this cutout. So again, on the front plane, all four sketches have been done on the same plane, which is pretty cool. Um, so it looks like there is something missing here, but I'm going to go ahead and use a center point arc. I'm going to draw the geometry anyway. I'm going to add a horizontal infinite length center line here because <clears throat> I want to maintain my 120 degrees so the distance from here to here is 120 so half of 120 would be 120 divided by 2 would be 60 and it looks like we're missing a radius here. We're missing something for this rotary valve. So something doesn't make sense. If I put my wireframe on, we can see the distance from here to here is, is pretty comparable. Let's see what this radius would be. Uh, if I make it 125 thousandths radius, that might be a little too much. But something is definitely missing. Uh, I can make sure that this point and this point are symmetrical about my origin. So that helps a little, but there, there's something that's still, that's still off with this. So I'm not sure if these dimensions are going to come after the fact or if it's something that's just going to work out for us. But let's go ahead and give it... Uh, let's do this. Let's try to make sure to see if... if this was the problem. Uh, there we go. 
So that takes care of that. I made center lines and I made sure that this line was collinear with this center line so that it, it, it goes exactly to the center. But we still have this issue. We don't know what this dimension is. So we can change this and try to eyeball it, but there's going to be an, an answer uh, to that. But it looks like a hundred thousandths would work. Let's extrude cut it through all. And we're left with that. So this being a valve, this diameter may not be super important. So we'll leave it at a hundred thousandths. But I think we're good. File save. Move on to the next part.